every time that you want to insert or import a block, look for the name. For example, file, import. Let's say we are working in this folder and look at the name, subd. So this block is made all or part of it with the subd in Rhino 7. So let me import this block. Let me maximize it and let us ghost it. Now that we have it over here, it's quite easy to identify which objects are sub D. Left click and there. The egg is not a sub D. So now you can go to sub D tools and let's say, let us say, I want to select the edges over here. Notice how simple it is to edit the handle. It's really nice. Let me move this one up just a little bit. Um, perhaps I want to select all the faces over here and rotate them just a little bit. So now I have a brand new pan, very simple. Oh, wait, let me select this edge, double click on it to select all of it and move it up just a little bit, maybe uh, three quarters of an inch. Let me render it. And there you see my new pan. So don't forget every time that you import, look for objects that have sub D within the block. They are quite easy to edit and you can create your own objects. If you are not familiar, if you are not familiar with SubD, I would recommend you to take a look at this class and master how to model and edit using SubD in Rhino. Seven.